What is going on guys, it's Carlson Gamer here and welcome back to another ARK Survival Evolved video. So today's video is going to be a lot different to any other video I normally do. This one's going to be in kind of two different parts or, well, two different subjects really. So I'm going to be covering the upcoming version 228 patch notes. This currently has not been released in the game but I'm going to be talking about it before it's been released, you know, what stuff they're adding and all that. And I'm also going to be talking about the new ARC 3D printing that they have recently announced to everyone. And it is really, really awesome, guys. I just can't wait to show it off to you. So up first with the upcoming version 228, I'm just going to get all the boring bug fixes and optimization features out the way first. And then I'll get into the, like the good bits about the update. So... Up first is more optimizations, which, you know, that is actually really good. Everybody loves optimizations. This game is really hard on your PC, and it really does demand a lot of hardware in order to run the game on a, a decent frame rate with decent looking graphics. So they've massively improved the game loading speed and streaming times. They've reduced hitches by using seek free packages. I have no idea what they mean by that. Obviously, they, are, <laughs> obviously they know what they mean. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on there. Then I'm not a games developer. I don't know what they mean by seek free packages. So all I know is that that's an improvement. It's a good optimization, and they have improved the game at loading speed. So that is going to be good because the game does take a while to load. They've also improved the save game, save and load time. So the games like single player um, will now you'll save your game quicker, and it will load the game quicker. So you don't have to wait around for so long just to load up your world anymore and how long it takes for it to quit because when I do do my single player videos of um, updates it does take a good 20 seconds just to leave and quit the world to, to save it all and the same to load it up as well it is kind of a pain in the ass. Rendering and streaming and also CPU optimizations from console work. I think that's going to be for console work or from console work. I don't really know. But they've improved rendering, streaming, and CPU optimizations from console work. Either that's for consoles, as in the Xbox One, or that just means, or that's just something else alongside of doing it for PC as well. So, capability for mods to overwrite or add to the Ark Island maps, which enables much more dynamic map modes, modes and map mods stackable too. So you can have stack mods, uh, which a lot of people wanted because um, previously you could only use one mod at a time and now you'll be able to stack them. So you can have like, I don't know, a skins mod with NPC mod and new dinos mods and, you know, you, you get where I'm coming from. You can stack them. It's going to be cool. You can have multiple mods in one game, which is going to be awesome. And last but not least of all the boring stuff, all current items are now on Master Items ID Array. So this is just like ID array is the, the ID list, everything's got a code now and all the current items in the game are now have their own unique ID so you can spawn them in and stuff when you play in single player, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. So now moving on to the main thing, the main feature with the update, and that is the Ark Winter Wonderland. Now, this isn't really much of a game changer in terms of features, new dinos, new weapons, anything like that. It's literally just a visual look of the map being changed. So I have got two pictures of the existing winter biome here, and I'm just going to be using these as an example. So as you take note in this picture here with the trees and the river, and you obviously got the rocky scenery and the snow and the little bits of ice down by the riverbed, that is pretty much going to be the entirety of the map. I'm, well, that's what I'm hoping and that's what I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure it will end up being something like that. But if it is like that, the map is going to be so cool. I just can't wait to check it out when this update is released. Like, I love snow. Snow is just amazing. If there's any map on any game and it's a snowy map, it will instantly become my favourite map. I don't, I don't know why. It's just snow to me. It's just amazing. Such an amazing thing. So with the map all covered in snow, I just can't wait to see that really. It's going to be brilliant. I have another photo here, which is obviously one of the previous already existing snowy biomes by the cliff. So a lot of the cliff faces around the maps are also going to look like this as well. I'm hoping they'll have the, like, you know, you can see the little icebergs, the little bits of ice in the water. 
and all the snowy parts along the cliff face and those trees up on the bank to the left. I'm wondering if all the trees will be like that. They probably won't be, but I'm sure there will be a lot more of them around because it's going to be pretty cool. And I just, I just love the effect of the water fading with the icebergs going off deeper and just the snow effect all together itself. I just can't wait to see the whole map like this all together. It's just going to be brilliant. I absolutely love snow yet again. I had to mention. So guys, that is pretty much it for the. Uh, first half of this video that is the patch upcoming patch 228 that is all the little bug fixes optimizations and little future tweaks I just talked to you about and those two photos used as an example towards the winter wonderland update okay guys so moving on to the arc 3d printing this is really really awesome I am so excited about this and when I get some money together I probably will end up in the future buying some of these figures when they've added in all the dinos so currently only four in the game that is the not in the game this isn't the game there's only four current dinosaurs to choose from for 3d printing that is the dire wolf the Utah raptor or whatever they call it on their game just the raptor in general the dodo and the spinosaurus so here i've taken out the direwolf for example and you start off with the default stock 3d printing that is the base you've got a little nameplate there that you can fill in afterwards and you get the default stance of the dino so moving on to the base there are four different colors so you get orange which i actually like the orange one probably the most out of all of them i don't know why it just just looks really nice you get some limey green to a yellowy type color and you get this really nice blue color which is pretty decent I like that a lot uh, moving on to custom text you can actually put anything here so you know I can put YOLO you only live once so yeah that is my direwolf his name is YOLO and he is from Ark Survival Evolved moving on to the pose um, you can change it with this arrow here oh, you can see it has they're like the little picked default ones so that's eat howl poop startled and attack and you can by moving this bar you can move how it moves you, you see what I mean so how, what is it, whichever one you leave it on is how it will be printed so if I wanted it with its mouth slightly open like that I'd leave it halfway through the attack bar and you know I could rotate it like that and then I could let's say for example let's move to howl howl is quite a good one so I could have him howling like that <laughs> hello so yeah so I can leave him howling like that which is pretty cool uh, with the other ones you don't get these default ones like this one I think this is the only one the direwolf one which gets these default little stances that everyone else gets an attack and then you can move on to complete which saves your creation and takes you to the purchase page also you can choose your size so there is the $30 one which is uh, 4 inches long and 2 inches tall and then there's the $50 one which is 5 inches t uh, long and 2.25 inches tall and then you get the biggest one there is that's ninety dollars which is six inches long and 2.5 inches tall so it comes in separate parts i think i'm not sure i'm not going to be buying one of these right now so i'm not going to go any further than this i'm just going to go back and show you some of the other ones i'm only going to show you one more which is going to be the spinosaurus because that is my ultimate overall favorite dino in the whole of the game spinosaurus if there's any dino i want to tame the most it would be the spino uh, there is a raptor and a dodo and they work exactly the same as the direwolf and the spinos customization okay guys so we've moved on to the spinosaurus this is its default like skin if that's the right word for it so it comes as the red spine spinosaurus i don't think you can change it at all but you get the same options as the direwolf when it comes to base you know you get orange yellowy greeny and blue so that's the same you also get the custom name which I know let's just put CGM the channel name so there you go CGN Arc Survival Evolved and there's my Spinosaurus and with the pose like I said um, you get like hmm hang on 
Ah, these are the same then. When I looked before, I didn't think that you could actually change these. I thought these were all um, the default ones. But you get the idle pose, which is, you know, when it's just standing there doing nothing. You get the raw. Oh. So, you know, if I was to buy this, I'd probably have the raw. The raw looks like quite a good one. You also get the startled one, which is when he targets you in the wild. I, yeah, I recognize that move. And you get the attack, so if I was going to choose the attack move, I'd have that one there, probably. That's a pr pretty awesome little stance he's in there. I'd like that one if I was going to buy one. But then moving on to the complete stage, I don't know if the sizes change compared to the wolf at all. And it looks like they do, only slightly. So this, for the $30 one, is 6.5 inches long and 2.75 inches tall. Which is not too bad of a size, really. Um, for the Spino medium size, the $50 one is 7.5 inches long and 3 inches tall. And for the last $90 one, that is 9.25 inches long and 3.75 inches tall. Now, that is pretty cool. I'm obviously not going to be buying any of these today, so I'm not going to pass that at all. But... To see that Ark are doing this, it's really exciting. Although there is only four dinos currently on here, and you can get a gift card as well for any of your friends, you know, might want to have a 3D printed dino, you can choose your amount and buy them a gift card. But it's good to see that they are actually doing this. They've got their four basic dinos here, and if they did have every single dino in the game here, that would be pretty awesome. Like, you know, you could have... Um, the T-Rex eventually, the Giganotosaurus, Mosasaur, Quetzal, Megalodon, <laughs> you name it. Everything in the game, that would be pretty awesome. I'd love to see that happen. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I have covered everything that's going to be added into patch 228. Which I'm hoping it will be released today, or tonight rather, for my time zone. Um, I'm hoping it will be released, although it's the Arctic team, we all know what they're like, they like to delay things by one or two days most of the time, so we'll see what happens. So I've also showed off to these 3D printings which are absolutely awesome and in the future I probably will end up buying some, hopefully when they've got some new dinos up here to offer. If I were going to buy any for on the list right now it would be the Spinosaurus definitely because that is my favourite dino out of these four. And obviously I'd get a, a different one if there were more to be added in the future. But guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video or helped you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. It really does help me out. It really does show your support and I really do appreciate it. It's what keeps these videos going. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe. Guys, I just want to thank you all for all the support on all my other videos. I really appreciate it so much and i just want to thank you all for watching yet again and i'll see you all in the next video